Hi everyone, this is Alison from Band of Badgers and I've got the Lorcana Chapter 3 Starter Decks today which I'm going to unbox for you. So this is the third set, Into the Inklands, and with this one, Chapter 3, they've given us two starter decks. Uh, they did the same thing with Thudborn, um, whereas with Chapter 1, they actually gave us three starter decks. So I'm not sure why we're now just getting two each run because I don't know if anyone else is out there playing it um, we've actually played it with more than two players and it's, it's quite a fun way to put the game together but these are the two new sets they've redesigned the boxes a bit this time round and that the coloring has all changed chapter one and two both had very dark colors um, this is much more of a golden color but once again the covers on the boxes are all foil and there's two decks as mentioned so we've got the ruby and sapphire deck and the amber and emerald which are your two starter decks so these are ready to play you get two foil cards in the deck um, so if you haven't played before and you want to learn these are a great place to start so if we take a look at ruby and sapphire it gives you a great description of the game at the start so become an illumineer and wield magic ink to summon glimmers of disney characters Together with your team, you'll challenge opposing Illumineers as you race to collect scattered lore. It gives you some examples of the cards. And Chapter 3 is introducing these new location cards, which is a new game element. So I'm not sure how well these new Chapter 3 decks will work with your Chapter 1 and 2 starter decks, or if actually you need to go back and sort of rebuild your decks. That's something you have to try and play and test out. So this first deck, the Ruby and Sapphire, has plenty of pluck. Uh, so get ready to ruffle feathers from Montanui to Agrabah. Fearless ruby glimmers like Moana. Born leader, learn from voyages near and far. While sapphire glimmers like Scrooge McDuck, richest duck in the world, and the ducktail friends work together to make the most out of items. And these starter decks do have everything you need to get playing. So if you haven't played before, do pick these up. You get your 60 card deck, and it includes the two foil cards. You get your damage counters, your play mat, um, tokens and the game rules and this is actually quite a nice game to learn it's quite straightforward if I show you the back of the amber and emerald so you can see the difference in the decks again we've got the examples of the locations which might be in this deck and this deck is dogged and dynamic with this starter deck you'll have opponents seeing spots from Deville Manor to Mermaid Lagoon amber dalmatian glimmers eat help each other as Pongo, determined father, digs into your deck for friends, while the emerald glimmer Peter Pan, lost boy, leader, eagerly travels from land to land. And again, you get everything you need to start playing in the box. So, let's have a little look. I'm going to dig into Moana, because I like Moana. We're going to have a little look at one of the decks, just to show you what you find inside the box. Now, they make these quite tricky to sort of dig into. Give it a go. There we go. Gone in through the side. Right. So everything's really nicely secured inside and it just slides out as the deck's got left behind. So inside your box, you will find your deck. That's your 60 card deck. And you get this piece of cardboard that comes out and this has got your damage counters, this is your law marker, and you've got some more counters here. So those are all on the piece of cardboard. You get an extra pack. So as well as your 60 card deck, you get an extra pack to open to get you started off with trying to create your own decks. You get the booklet, which has got the quick start rules in it. And definitely from the previous versions, these do give you everything you need to get started. I think in the previous chapters it was actually more of a fold out but this is a really nice booklet and again we've got new gameplay elements in chapter three so these are the locations um, which is going to add a new dynamic so definitely need to do some reading up on that before getting into play particularly with cards from the previous chapters and there you go there's your quick start for while you're playing and then this is your play map and again, this is a different colour to the previous chapter, which was quite dark. So this is new colouring to match chapter three. Just slide that down. You've got your spec.
space for your deck, your discard pile, your cards in play, your inkwell and your law counter. And it's the same both sides, you can play to the left or to the right, whichever suits you. So it's really handy to have that in so when you go and play you can take that with you. So if we come back into this, this will be the 60 card deck. So we're going to open this up and just see what the foils look like. The only thing you don't get in these um, starter decks, which you can pick up separately, I believe they've done some new ones for chapter three, they did for chapter one and two, is deck boxes. And it's the only thing they don't get you. So if you haven't picked up the um, trove, you've got to think about where you're going to store your cards. You're going to have to get some sort of deck box for them because once they're open, obviously it's very easy to mess up your deck and lose them. But on the top here, we've got the foil card, which hopefully is coming out well on the screen. There's Moana. She's foil. And there's the other one, which is Scrooge McDuck. There we go. And then if we take a little slide through these, you can see you will get repeat characters. As with a lot of card games, that's how the decks are built. So you need to give them a good shuffle before you start. But you've got a great range of characters to play with in here. Oh, that's nice. It's a nice action, this Dragonfire. Voyage. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Here's one of the new ones. So this is the locations. We've got Agrabah. And the locations will have uh, specific effects that are, take place while they're in play. Um, so this one, I don't think it actually says on it. I need to look up how these new cards work. They've obviously got their own effects on there. We've got a couple of Agrabah. Ah, so we must come in and out of play. And I swipe through the rest of these characters. Oh, there's Flounder. There we go. So it's a really nice deck. Good mix of cards. There we go. Ah, oh, here we go. Another location. Monsonui. So this one does have an effect written on it. Reincarnation. Whenever a character is banished while here, you may put that card into your inkwell face down and exerted. That could be a very powerful action. So these are great starter decks because they've got a good mix of all the card types and the characters as well as your foils. And then you also get your extra pack to open, which is really nice if you want to start building your own decks. Let's have a look, see what we found in this one. Okay, look, straight on the back there, information on the new rules. Here we go. See some really nice new cards for chapter three. Oh, there we go. There's another... There's another location, we've got Deville Manor, Cruella's Estate. Ah, Neverland. Oh, the Bayou. Okay, this one has an effect on it. Show me the way. Whenever a character quests while here, you may draw a card, then choose and discard a card. Sweet, there's Peter. And the foil in this pack is a Dalmatian puppy. And then as mentioned in the back, as well as being in the, it'll be in the quick start rules for this chapter three starter, um, starter deck as well. In the packs, you'll also get information on how the locations work. And there's also a new moving damage rule that's been introduced. So if you're going to play these, even if you've, played chapter one and two already, do read up on all the new rules and the new locations and how that affects the game. And you might have to think about whether or not you need to rebuild any decks you might have created from the previous sets. So that is the starter decks. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I'm gonna have a dig through the other deck and some other packs and if we find anything rare, we'll share that up with you. But thanks so much for joining me and see you in the next video. Bye.